Hey, what is going on guys? So today's video, something a little bit different than what I normally do. I found my old Waterwolf camera. I've had this probably four years, lost it for about three years, found it again. So we're going to do some fishing and try and get some cool underwater footage. A bit different than what I normally do. Hopefully it still works, I'm not even 100% sure it does. But yeah, we're on the kayak today, as you can see, uh, on a river. Uh, we're going to probably trawl up a mile. And then we're going to drift back down, do some casting. I think this is supposed to have about four hours battery time, so we should have about four hours fishing. I've actually caught my first fish already, just moving out somewhere a bit quiet so I can film the intro on the coffee roach, so, uh, coffee perch. Sorry, so I'll probably stick with this, but I'm going to put a bit of a brighter colour on because it's quite overcast. So yeah, we're going to get fishing. Hopefully, we get a second fish pretty quick. So yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to watch the footage back anyway. It's so hard. It's only a little fish as well. Oh, whoa. That is tiny. That is tiny. <laughs> Hopefully, got that the water off though. Got both hooks in his mouth somehow. And that fish hit so hard then. I thought it was going to be a beast. First one out of the way at least. <laughs> there we go. A little. Half pounder on a 23 centimetre shad. See you, buddy. Hopefully, got that on the old water wolf camera. That'd be sweet. Check it's still recording, actually. Yeah, should be recording. That's the first fish on the trail, anyway. 23 centimetre coffee perch again. Can't get enough of this bait, these pike, and I can't either. Just drifted pretty much back to where I started. <laughs> just swaps over to this fire tiger bait. They seem to like a brighter bait here and it's pretty overcast. There's a little bit of colour in the water. So yeah, we're going to use that for a bit. What wolf camera, I've got a little bit of weight on that as well just to keep it in line with the bait. And uh, yeah, this should be good. Last time I was here fishing, the water temp was 15 degrees. Now it's 16, as you can see. So. Yeah, slightly warmer than last time, but it's still not warm really. Uh, same at Melwa, 40 pound thrush, so pretty light to be fair. Got the Rebel Cell power in it instead of the big old lead batteries. And we're going to get this cast out. Change trolling speeds depending on, you know, if we're catching or not. You can see here we're in about 10, 11 foot of water. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get a fish caught. That did not take long after switching to milk bait. Switching to tap the fire tiger. That was so quick. Oh yes. It's only small again. And it's gone. <laughs> Whoa, that was so fast. I knew a brighter bait would get him going. Oh yes. Okay, back on the trawl. Quick release on that one. Hopefully the uh, water wolf caught that then now. That'd be sweet to watch. <laughs> oh yes okay that's basically two fish then at least i've got two fish on the water wolf to watch trying a little faster than i was last time smoked it okay see if we can get hit number three now yeah oh it's gone 
That was a good hit. I just twitched the bait. I just twitched the bait and then that was okay. I must have been following it that. Must have been following it. <sighs> okay, that was pretty quick after that last one again. I'm gonna do a quick drift back over that same area. Let's see if we can get it to come back or a different one to come. Oh, I knew that like this fire tiger today. I'm not normally a fire tiger kind of guy, but yeah, I knew today they'd be into it. Ah, I missed one. No. Left-handed strike here. That was a hit though. A very weak hit. That might have been actually on the camera, that one, to be fair. Wait till I can see footage of what happened then. Oh yeah, bit it right in the middle of the bait there. Very gentle bite though. So yeah, definitely hit the bait, not the camera. Nope. In bushes, like usual. Right, that's as far as I'm trolling. I want to get some casting done. So yeah, I'm gonna drift back over what I've just trolled up. Hopefully, we we'll have to cast in some holes and get some fish to come out. The river's flowing quite fast today though, so we're gonna be drifting pretty quick. Come on, got way more confidence that I'll catch more fish casting. Just a bit awkward casting with this camera on. <laughs> it's very, yeah, hard to aim with it. Everyone. Oh, 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 that was second cast, something just hit. Very gently hit though. Oh, I just sort of follow. <sighs> second cast with this colour, I knew it would work. Don't think it was a big fish, but I didn't really get a good look or a good feel. It was uh, a very strange hit, that. That took it really strange. <laughs> oh wow, I still can't really feel the fish. That's so weird. I don't think he knows it's hooked. My anchor here. Okay, now he's well for a little bit. That's a small fish. Oh, there it goes. It wasn't even hooked. It was literally just holding onto the bait. <laughs> oh, what, what a strange little fish. It was really, really weird. I couldn't feel the fish fighting at all. I don't think it knew what was going on, but hey, another hooked fish, sort of. Just came out, clamped in the middle of the bay and then just didn't do anything. And then as soon as I put a little bit more resistance on it, it just let go. That's kind of. Why is there so many little fish? <laughs> Why is there so many little pike? That is absolutely tiny. 
leader torch, that one counts at least, but there it goes. Freaking hell. There's the smallest fish. It's probably the same size as this bait, if I'm honest. <laughs> That's another one that might look interesting on camera as well, on the underwater camera. Yeah, really weird how many small pike there is here. I've still yet to get a double out of this river and I've probably done 15 hours of fishing on it. Strange. I know they're in here because I know someone who fishes it and catches them all the time. But I just catch little ones. <laughs> right, water wolf's run out of battery by the look of it. Bit annoying, but yeah, I guess I'll take it off and uh, just work my way back to the van without it and see if I can get some more fish caught. There's a fish. Oh, it's tiny again. No way. Why are they so small today? Oh man. Hit it nicely, but it's so small. It's a really, really weird day. Absolutely getting nailed by these tiny little half pound pike. Three hour hook in his mouth. <laughs> See you, buddy. Right guys so the, for some reason my GoPro decided to delete half the footage that I had so I lost my outro and three fish well I got two of them on camera two little jacks and then I had this beast as well after I finished filming so yeah could have been a better video but yeah camera issues I don't understand why but yeah I lost half the footage of my GoPro so yeah that's a bit annoying so I'm filming the outro at home now didn't realize I'd lost it until I've just started trying to edit it so yeah, it was a pretty good session. Now I think I've got three fish on camera. A few cool hits as well on the underwater stuff. So yeah, that's sweet. Uh, I'll probably get the water wolf back out again. Try fish it with somewhere with a bit clearer water. And uh, yeah, get some more sweet hits. And hopefully some better fish to hit as well. But yeah, that was pretty fun. So hope you guys enjoyed. Something slightly different than what I normally do. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.